this section of the Getting Started with Oracle Visual Builder, we're going to talk about publishing the application and how to manage the lifecycle of your application through iterative development. While you're developing the application, you can work with the live mode to see how the application works, but you can also click the little preview button up here that would run your application in a separate browser window. You can see your application in action, click on an employee, go and change the information about this employee. For example, associate them with a different department, okay. indicate that they are a manager, and even switch the country that they are based out of. Save the data to save it back into the database. You can also see the navigation to the other parts of our application over here, for example, to the departments page. Once you're done developing your application and you're ready for other people to test it, go over to the top menu and select the stage option. You can stage with a clean database or you can populate the testing environment with your development data, which is what I'm going to do here. Once your application is staged, you can open the stage application from the menu here. Notice that the URL for this application has the version number for your application over here. And you can now pass this over to other people in your organization to test your application. Once you're happy with your application, you're ready for the next stage, which is publishing the application. Again, you can populate data from the stage environment or create an empty database. We're going to populate from the stage, click publish, and your application has been published. If you now go back to your Visual Builder homepage, you would see the indication that your application is now live. You can click on it, click on the URL, and you'll be taken into the live version of your application. If you now need to do a new version of your application, you can go to the menu over here and choose to create a new version. Give it a new version number, you can add a description if you want to, and create a new version. This allows you to have a live application in parallel to an application that you're working on in development. So let's go, for example, into our application in development and modify, for example, our start page. For example, we can make the picture a little bigger, like that. Now that we're happy with our changes, we can go back to that cycle of staging the application. and then we can republish the application. When we publish, it's important to notice whether you want to keep the existing data that is already in the live application, which very likely you want to do, or if you want to copy data from stage or clean the database. I'm going to keep the data in the existing live database because we don't want to override changes people did. Once we publish the new application, people who were using the live application, if they would now do a refresh of the application would get the new version showing up in the same URL that they were on before. So now the images are much bigger. So this is the basics of managing the lifecycle of your application. For a more advanced way of managing your application lifecycle, have a look into Visual Builder Studio.